Hi everyone, Rita here. I am going to go through Walgreens deals this week for Scott paper towels and bath tissue. This is a great deal this week at Walgreens. So if you need to stock up, this is the perfect time to do that. So let's just jump right to it. You will need a manufacturer coupon and a store coupon for this deal. And that is called coupon stacking. There is a booklet that um, Walgreens puts out every month. This one is the one for August. This is located at the store. So when you walk into the store, you will see these at the usually at the front of the store where the weekly ads are as well. So look for these, grab one, you will only need one. The beauty is that all of these coupons in here are store coupons. These are Walgreens coupons, which means that you can stack these with the manufacturer coupons, which makes it great. These are the kind of deals that we look for, I look for anyway. So when you walk to the store, grab one. You only need one because the coupons in here will automatically deduct the number that you are purchasing. So for example, if I'm buying three of these, this coupon when scanned by the cashier automatically deducts three times, meaning a dollar off each pack which is great, so you only need one of them. So, two deals, one for um, paper towels and the other one for the bath tissue. And I'll also link these deals for you in the comments as well, so you can do look at the step-by-step -step breakdown written down. This one is the Six Rolls Scott Paper Towels, and this is on sale for $4.99 this week. Then we have a manufacturer coupon and you have two choices. You can either find it in your smart source insert from last weekend. If you did not get this insert or you do not have the coupon in the insert, there are regional differences so you may or may not have that coupon. If you didn't get it, good news, we also have a printable. So you can print two identical coupons per phone number. So you could buy two if you have one phone number. If you have two phone numbers, you could use and two devices, for example, maybe a desktop and a laptop or a laptop and a phone, but two different phone numbers. You could print four coupons. So whether you find it from here or the printables, or if you have both, you can really stock up and use all of them. So you pick whichever, however many you wanna do or how many you can, depending on your coupon, a number of coupons that you have. That's going to be your limiting factor in getting this deal. There isn't a limit of how many packs you can get um, at the store. They may however limit you at Walgreens on how many you can buy all at once. Um, just FYI, that depends on the store. So you'll have to figure out what it is at your store. So buy one. This is just the simplest deal possible. You buy one and then you will get, um, oh, it, buy one and you use one dollar off coupon from here for the paper towels. And then you will use a dollar off coupon from this booklet and it's on page seven. It's on the top right here. You're probably seeing this reverse, by the way. So um, not to worry, it's in here, um, page seven. You will use this one and then you will pay $2.99 for this pack. Now for paper towels, I look for, uh, I shoot for per roll price of 50 cents or less, which is what this turns out to be. And that to me is a great deal for paper towels. So good time to stock up on these if you need some. Um, if you again want to do more than just one, let's say you have two coupons, you could buy two both in the same transaction and then use two manufacturer coupons and two store coupons. You will need to have your Walgreens Balance Rewards card that um, is the requirement at Walgreens in order for you to get the deals. If you don't have that, you can get that at the store or you can 
um, register for it online, but that's going to be your friend, um, a big friend in getting great deals. Same coupon is also good for the um, bath tissue and it's this one right here. It's the 12 big rolls. So it's almost identical deal. You buy one, and then you use one manufacturer coupon and one store coupon. And again, we have both printable and a insert coupon. It's in the same one, same smart source insert from last Sunday. So if you did not get these last Sunday, don't worry, you can still print them. And I'll put the links again for you so you can go find the printable coupon for these. Um, having said that, you use the manufacturer coupon and store coupon, which is called coupon stacking, and you will pay $2.99 for this. And that turns out to be about one cent per um, square foot, which is what you look to if I broke it down by square foot. Uh, it requires a little bit of a calculation. So um, if you <laughs> look for stocking up on toilet paper in general, Look for um, or do look for deals that you don't want to pay more than two cents per square foot. Those are going to be the better deals, or even better, only one cent per square foot. Roughly comes about twenty-five cents a roll. But the problem with toilet paper deals is that the roll sizes vary so so much. So um, that's not the set rule because you could have a double roll or mega roll and whatnot. So. Um, having said that, this is a pretty sweet deal. So I got a couple of these today myself. $2.99 for that and $2.99 for that. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out. If you already have points from Walgreens, Balance Rewards points, you can use those points in this deal. For example, I have quite a lot of points in my Balance Rewards account. So I bought three packs of these today and then I just bought one other little item some kind of candy bar or whatever it was um, to make these um, just a little over ten dollars total um, so I bought three they were each $2.99 after all the coupons were said and done and then um, the candy bar which pushed the total price just over ten dollars I was able to use 10,000 points from my balance rewards account which means I paid a dollar for three packs and I usually or, or you really can't usually calculate points twice meaning if I received the points in another deal and I already used those points in that deal calculation I couldn't use them again however because I have so many points they are worth more than a dollar so I practically got these for free so if you want to accumulate points at Walgreens this is a great thing to do and then use them for something like this, um, not only to lower your out-of-pocket costs, but you get a great deal on something like this where you can't get it basically for free otherwise. So um, having said that, <laughs> any questions, just let me know in the comments, by the way. <laughs> and um, the, um, the deal is, and I see that somebody says, can you use four coupons, so is the limit two. The coupons um, do not have a limit, um, the manufacturer coupons. It says um, one per purchase, and I actually had this happen today where the cashier said, oh, I can only use one. However, that is not correct. One coupon per purchase means per item. One purchase, so if you're buying four of these, you can use four coupons. One coupon per item. Um, the cashier was a little confused and I said, well, one per purchase means one per item. And what happened is only one of the manufacturer coupons scanned. So the other two did not go through. Then um, I had the manager come over who <laughs> knows me um, and she um, pushed them through. Um, so just something to keep in mind also that sometimes the manufacturer coupons at Walgreens don't always go through even though there are no restrictions and they can override that and enter them in any way. You're not going against the coupon policies or the um, coupon limitations or restrictions. Um, you can still um, use them. So I did three at a time. There is no limit on how many you were allowed to use. 
um, for these particular for the Scott products specifically for just this deal. Other coupons will have limits. Um, all right, how many booklets will the store allow you to have? You only need one single booklet. They, you can certainly grab more than one, but one booklet. Um, what happens? So this is how I do the transaction. When I go to the register and let's say I'm buying just this one, I buy this, they ring it through, I enter my either the phone number at the register for my balance rewards card or I show the little, I have the little um, scannable um, card, key card and I have them scan that. Then I give them the manufacturer coupons or coupon in this case and then I had grabbed this already from the front of the store and then I'm gonna hand them this and I usually just you don't even have to take it out of here all you do is you just hand this over to the cashier and they oftentimes block the rest of the coupon so they don't accidentally scan another one and then they just scan it and that's how it gets applied the key at Walgreens also is that you want to make sure that all the before the cashier well not you but the cashier needs to know that they can't hit the final enter button before all the coupons are scanned. Some cashiers will actually say, do you have other coupons? Because once you push that blast button, no other coupons gets applied, even if they try to scan them. So, um, and that is another thing that happened to me today where they, um, the cashier had already hit the button and then we had to redo the whole transaction and then all the coupons get applied. And this is why it's important for you to know how much your final cost should be, at least approximately, when you um, are shopping. So I knew my um, total was supposed to be just over $10 or around $11 with tax and it ended up being over 14 so I knew that these coupons didn't get applied and I said mm, I don't think this got applied which was correct so it's just good to know so you only need one of these so when you are done showing this coupon off you just keep this and you this is good for the whole month so there are a lot of coupons you can use in here and it may be not even this week it may be next week or the following week or the following week after that um just hold on to it and if you forget one at home you just grab another one when you go to the store uh, i usually have a couple one in the car <laughs> one at home one in the purse and then if i still can't remember it i'll just grab one at the store when i go there all right yeah exactly um and uh Kaylin says yeah i had the same thing happen to me and the um, woman overrid, over, did an override. Um, this, sometimes that happens when the coupons do not scan, but they are okay, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just something with their system. So don't immediately um, think that there's something wrong with the coupons or you're doing something wrong. I know that there can be a tendency of being nervous in the beginning when um, you're just starting out, which is the other reason why I say start small. Just go and do just this one deal. Or if you are brave, buy one pack of these and one pack of these. And um, that's how small you start. So you start to get more comfortable with it and then you can do more. But you know, truth to be told, I still do small deals. I don't do necessarily huge hauls, but I also go to the store quite a lot. So that works for me. All right. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, um, I don't see any more in the comments right now. Um, just ask and then um, I will post those deals and the links to those coupons. I, you can print them. They're already clipped um, for you. I have clipped them for you so you can just hit the um, link to the coupon and get them straight from um, the coupons.com link that I have for you. Um, and hopefully you can score these great, great deals. This is the time that if you are low or don't have any stock yet, this is a great time to um, grab at least a couple of these or whatever limit of uh, coupons that you have. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in a little bit, I'm sure, <laughs> or more than <laughs> positive. Bye.